Welcome back to Quantum Quirks, where we unravel the mysteries of the quantum world. Today, we're diving into one of the most famous and foundational interpretations of quantum mechanics, the Copenhagen interpretation. So grab your virtual lab coats and let's explore. The Copenhagen interpretation was developed in the 1920s, primarily by Niels Bohr and Werner Heisenberg, two giants in the field of quantum mechanics. But what exactly does it say? Let's break it down. First, let's talk about the wave function. In quantum mechanics, particles like electrons are described by a wave function, which gives us the probabilities of finding the particle in various positions or states. But here's the catch. According to the Copenhagen interpretation, the wave function doesn't just describe the particle, it is the particle in a sense. This wave function evolves smoothly according to the Schrodinger equation, until we measure it. When we observe the particle, the wave function collapses to a single outcome. In other words, the act of measurement forces the particle to choose a definite state. Remember Schrodinger's cat? It's a thought experiment that illustrates this concept. Until we open the box and check, the cat is both alive and dead, a superposition of states. Opening the box collapses the wave function to one of the two possible outcomes. Another classic example is the double slit experiment. When electrons are fired through two slits, they create an interference pattern on the screen, behaving like waves. But if we measure which slit each electron goes through, the interference pattern disappears, and they behave like particles. So, what does this tell us? According to the Copenhagen interpretation, reality at the quantum level is fundamentally probabilistic. Particles don't have definite properties until they are observed. Before measurement, they exist in a superposition of all possible states. Niels Bohr emphasized the importance of the observer in the measurement process. Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, which states that we cannot simultaneously know the exact position and momentum of a particle, also aligns with this interpretation. Together, they laid the groundwork for our modern understanding of quantum mechanics. Of course, the Copenhagen interpretation isn't without its critics. Some physicists find the idea of wave function collapse unsatisfactory and propose alternative interpretations like the many worlds interpretation or Bohmian mechanics. But that's a story for another video. In summary, the Copenhagen interpretation teaches us that at the quantum level, reality is shaped by probabilities and measurements. It's a fascinating and sometimes perplexing view of the universe, but it has stood the test of time and experiments. Thanks for joining me on this quantum journey. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more deep dives into the quantum world. Until next time, stay curious and keep questioning.